Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Blake Damon here with another Sims 4 speed build. Today we'll be building our small home in the world of Oasis Springs in the neighborhood of Parched Prospect and a lot called Dusty Turf. Dusty Turf is actually the only empty lot on Parched Prospect. This lot is a 30 by 20 sized lot, which is going to be perfect for my small home. As you can see, I am right now doing the floor plan. Interestingly enough, I actually got this idea to do this house from a floor plan that I found from one of my favorite builders here in Australia. They're called Backspace Living. As you guys might know or might not know depending on how often you watch my channel, I am obsessed with tiny houses both in real life and also in The Sims. Actually my obsession with tiny houses in The Sims came from my obsession of them in real life. So that's why I do a lot of searching and just like looking around at real life small house builders. Anyway, I started stumbled across this floor plan and I absolutely loved it. I'm actually obsessed with this small home. It's called the Lennox. It's so pretty. Anyway, they have a show house. Is that what it's called? Like a showroom house? Anyway, there's one here and I really want to visit it, but COVID exists, so I haven't been able to and I'm so sad. <sighs> Maybe one day I'll be able to finally see it. <laughs> anyway, I really loved the floor plan of the Lennox. I thought it was very neat. I thought it was very tidy. I thought it was pretty clever to be able to fit two bedrooms in a small home and a full bathroom. And if you've ever seen any of my previous builds, you'll know that a full bathroom is another thing that I'm very familiar with since I can never fit more than the toilet and and maybe a shower in my quote unquote bathrooms. But if you've never seen my tiny minuscule bathrooms before, welcome to the channel. Please like and subscribe. Anyway, before we get carried away with talking about other rooms that we're not even building yet, let's go back to what we're doing now. So as I was talking, you may have seen me do the balcony and the main living areas, both the living area and the kitchen, as well as the little tiny dining area. I've just finished off the study and I'm doing the final touches of the main living area before I move on to the next rooms. Oh, you may have noticed the way I did the study. I thought it was quite clever. I used a shelf instead of an actual desk or a table to hold the laptop. I did that by simply putting a shelf up on the wall. Then I placed the table underneath the shelf where I put my laptop and a chair. And then I shrunk the table down to its smallest size and lowered the shelf so that it looked like the laptop was sitting on top of it. I thought that fit really well, especially in that narrow space. And oops, I'm already doing the laundry. <laughs> But the laundry is not really all that exciting anyway. Nothing really to talk about. It's just a washing machine, a dryer, and a hamper. And because I didn't like the way the walls were too empty, I put some clothes up. And ta-da, that's the laundry. And now we're doing the full-sized bathroom, everyone. Full-sized bathroom. Oh my god. I don't know why I decided to use the bathtub here and not an actual shower. No idea. I actually hate the way it takes so long for the hygiene to go up in the bathtub. Anyway, what's done is done. And now we're moving on to the kid's bedroom. I say kid, but I actually mean like teenager. I think maybe late teens. They're still in high school. Maybe the last couple of years of high school. Something like that. Maybe like 17, 18. I don't know. Is that a kid? I feel like for me, anyone under the age of 20 is a kid because I'm like so old. <laughs> anyway, I really enjoyed doing this kid's room. It was really fun putting up all the posters. And then on the other side there, I do a lot of decorating on those shelves and like trying to find little knickknacks that you might find in a kid's room, like CDs and makeup and perfume and you know, stuff like that. And I liked finding them and placing them there, and giving this room a personality. True, it would have been far more cost efficient and probably time if if I didn't do this and left it to the people who downloaded this build to decorate however they wished. But I actually really enjoyed this part of building. Not so much the decorating, but more giving a room a personality. I always like to imagine the sim in my head, the one who'll be using this room. And I'm like, well, this person likes the color pink and they want to become a future designer and they like to listen to music while they do their homework. Just stuff like that. And isn't the sim all about creating
creating stories. So I guess as long as we're doing that, we're playing the game as intended. And now we move on to the parents' bedroom. I tried to do this thing where I use the new shells from the new decorating pack to make like this headboard that I've seen in Ikea. They do this sort of thing, but it was driving me crazy because it wasn't snapping right and it kind of pissed me off. So I scrapped that idea and just went with like the simple one with the two side tables and shelves above the headboard. I know it's probably not as exciting as my initial idea. I will use that idea sometime in the future on another build, but just not in this one. In the kids room, you may have noticed I used a lot of pink. For the parents room, I decided I'd go with green. I really wanted the theme of this room to be more plant-based, only because I really wanted to use those new curtains from that new plant kit that we got recently. And now we're moving on to the roof. The roof is pretty simple. It's not that complicated. It's just a simple gabled roof. And because it was so simple, I actually found it really, really boring. So I decided to give it a little bit of interest by putting on this like fake chimney up, which I then turned into a skylight. And because the main building is so long and narrow, I had so much space in the lot. So what better use of space than to make a greenhouse? Actually, this green greenhouse takes up no tiles at all so it's perfect for those tiny builds. I honestly could have made that greenhouse as long as the actual main building and it wouldn't have taken up any tiles at all. If you guys are interested in finding out how I did that let me know in the comments down below and I might make a tutorial video. Right now I'm working on the front of the house. I've got fences there. They hold no actual purpose but for curbside appeal. Basically I just want the house to look pretty when you face it from the front. That's that's curbside appeal for you. That's it. I really wanted the plants around in my lot to match those behind the build. Luckily, when I opened up Debug, I actually found them all clumped up in the same sort of area. So that was perfect. I always find that whenever I open up Debug, I'm like lost in it for hours and I'm trying to find like one thing and it takes me forever and a half. That didn't happen this time. So hooray. The stars were aligned that day. And now I'm just doing the finishing touches of the build. I realized that back wall was like completely devoid of anything. So I decided to spruce it up with some windows. And with the build done, we move on to some flybys. All in all, I actually like this build. I was very close to actually scrapping it because I did I didn't like the way it was just so long and narrow and a bit boring. But I feel like that fake chimney that I put up, as well as the textured wall pattern I used for the exterior, really helped make the build more interesting. I really like the way I did the color scheme of this place. I started off with really safe, neutral tones like brown and white. But that color screen got really boring, which is why I added a nice vibrant color like red into the mix, which I think really gave the place that oomph it really needed. I kept the other smaller parts of the house light and bland to keep the spaces looking uncluttered and thus make it look larger. I think for me my most favorite room has got to be the kids bedroom. I like how it still has personality even though it's still relatively safe. My second favorite bedroom has got to be the parents room because I love plants and I think waking up every morning to such lush vegetation has got to be so good for the soul. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Don't forget to do yourself a favor and like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below whether or not I should make that greenhouse tutorial. And speaking of greenhouse tutorials, you might like this video.